welcome my name is Marco Heinen founder of the health the oceans thank you for joining me today and today as um, last time I, I pointed out for you in, in uh, today is a little bit let's say location locations orientated talk as uh, last time in um, I talk about the Atlantic Today we're going to talk about South Pacific and details about South Pacific garbage patch. As that is something in what I like to point it out in every single episode that different location, different style. So in, in the today we basically just talk about the South Pacific and what is actually happening over there and believe me by end of this video you're gonna see about one minute and a half in the NASA's video demonstrations regarding the plastic where it comes from where it goes and how much there is you know those guys up there in the really really high up there NASA guys thank you for them they are really really fantastic and really valuable asset for the world of oceans and basically they are valuable for any kind of aspects so please stay tuned subscribe and share yes share this one to your li links your connections I want you to emphasize, I want you to talk about it, what we are actually facing. As we are facing actually something, something really, really bad. And I can't actually stop talking about that one, what those really smart guys called scientists. They make a, make a post actually on a couple of years ago by saying and titled and by 2050, 2050. By 2050, there will be a more plastic in the oceans calculated by the weight of the plastics. There will be a more plastic waste in the oceans than fish calculated by the weight. Can you imagine? I mean, there is a lot of, lot of, lot of fish. There is a big whales, and those co they are like a one single blue whale, about 40 to 60 tons. Just a one, and there is a many of them. Seals, like a five, six hundred kilos, whales, about tons plus, plus, plus. And then by 2050, scientists actually say that there will be a more plastic waste than a fish way least calculated as a fish so in, in um, having said that let's have a look about plastic and I have a really actually interesting picture is uh, really behind the corner it's coming out really really soon which is according to the size of the plastic way plastic waste and how it's actually disappearing from the oceans so here you have according to the plastic waste size so basically how it's actually well disappearance in in the oceans you can see it's 0 0.33 to 1 millimeters it's basically all around and i actually want to a little bit emphasizing on that one you're looking for this picture and then compare this picture to the video what are you going to see it made by NASA by end of this clip you can see those so-called green areas what is over there you can see it 
what are you going to see then in the last video over there? So you can basically think about it, what is actually really happening. So in, in basically, let's go a little bit in the small details, not so much in today, because I'm more want you to focusing on this last video than listen to me talking on here. But let's go in a little bit in the statistic again. I'm Mr. Statistic. I like to make it out. Even they are old statistic and then renewed statistics. What is the difference where we are actually heading to? And yes, everybody talk about the global warming and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I live in the Thailand in 24 years and why it's so cold in here. That's a global warming in somewhere else, but not in here. It's supposed to be a tropical country. And yes, okay. So there has been an um, expedition by then few guys in um, South Pacific in 2016 to 2017. And they found that more than 35% of South Pacific lantern fish has consumed the plastic particles. 35%. And you know those lantern fish, they're actually really, really deep. Yes, they are deep. And of course, in, this, in uh, of course, these and uh, not so deep and, and uh, really close to the beaches, but 35% they've been. Because that's what we have it now. And what actually is the scientific little bit earlier, even before I was born in 1960. They, in 1960s, they actually found less than 5% seabirds were found consumed the waste materials. That was 1960s, less than 5%. And then they go back and do the do it again, not they, but somebody else, went to the August in 2015. And that figure, what was 5% in 1960, is 1915 about 90-0, 90-0, And of course, they predicted again, by 2050, it would be about 99%. So probably that one actually don't sound good. It don't even look good. So we do need to do something about it. What do we can do about it? Make a more publicity. Give me a funding and I will do it for you. We have an internet. Fish don't have an internet. We have it. They can't say anything. I can and I will. So, let's say, go back to the, in the, that, uh, as you can see, the 0 0.33 to 1 millimeters, it's a large amount. Even higher than, um, let's say, let's say bigger, 1 to 4, let's say 1 almost to 5 millimeters, in the larger scale. You can see it in, in also in the, the second picture in, in the right hand side in the top corner, top right corner. They are actually south. Ooh, there is a south part. Fill it up. But then when it's getting bigger, 4.76 to 2 millimeters, they are actually sinking and cannot be seen from outside. And then, of course, when they're getting bigger than 2 millimeters, it's disappeared because it does sink. It does sink. So let's have a look on um, what I have it for your information. Listen carefully as this one is done. The guys up there called NASA guys. And after that one, I'm going to have a really nice, really short few seconds talk about it. Let's have a look what they have it for us. Hey, it's Greg Shira from NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio. We wanted to see if we could visualize the so-called ocean garbage patches. 
We start with data from floating scientific buoys that NOAA has been distributing in the oceans for the last 35 years, represented here as white dots. Let's speed up time to see where the buoys go. Since new buoys are continually released, it's hard to tell where older buoys move to. Let's clear the map and add the starting locations of all the buoys. Interesting patterns appear all over the place. Lines of buoys are due to ships and planes that released buoys periodically. If we let all the buoys go at the same time, we can observe buoy migration patterns. The number of buoys decreases because some buoys don't last as long as others. The buoys migrate to five known gyres, also called ocean garbage patches. We can also see this in a computational model of ocean currents called ECHO2. We release particles evenly around the world and let the modeled currents carry the particles. The particles from the model also migrate to the garbage patches. What do you think about that? That was a quite, really, really quite good. Fabulous. So please, let's make something happening. I have all the resources, I need the funding. Your crew can join me on my boat as soon as I got the funding. I have a place for that one. And of course, if somebody wants to join me, we can talk about it, that one over there as well. And, and uh, it's going to make a really big, big thing over there. We can make a difference. We can help the fish. So please, subscribe, share, and of course, support me. I have a links below over there, in, in uh, below, where I can receive your fundings and get everything done. I'm ready. I have a boat. Need to have a funding so I can get it up and running. Need to be a little bit done it. But having said that one, when everything is done, everything's going to be really nicely recorded and we will make some history. And I'm sure that all the fish, all the maritime mammals, they will be really, really happy for us. You can see happy dolphins, you can see happy penguins. They're all going to be happy as we are over here to helping for them. So, have a nice Sunday, wherever you are. Please wear the mask, use the alcohol gel, so we can get this virus done and get rid of it. My name is Marko Hain, and I'm the founder of the Health Oceans. Until the next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.